They're cold-blooded killers. They will murder somebody if they're let out on the street. And let there be no doubt, the treatment of the detainees in Guantanamo Bay uh, is proper, it's humane, it's appropriate. In the meantime, Gitmo has become a symbol around the world for an America that flouts the rule of law. We have no choice but to annihilate them when necessary. We must be able to detain and question them. But we must be clear, terrorists are not merely criminals. They are unlawful enemy combatants. Burası turuncu renkli tulum giyen adamların siyah başlıklarıyla hapsedildiği kötü şöhretli bir yer. Guantanamo hapishanesi. Amerikan tarihinin kara lekesi olarak görülen Guantanamo, kapatılması yönündeki tüm çağrılara rağmen 22 yıldır hala açık. I have put this program in place for a reason. And that is to better protect the American people. Hapishane, ABD'nin donanma için Küba'dan kiraladığı Guantanamo Körfezi'nde 11 Ocak 2002'de, yani tam 22 yıl önce kuruldu. It's an American base and it was already there. The prison facilities did not exist. They were built right after the 9-11. It's the clear symbol of the war on terror. The first detainees were sent there in, in 2002. The reason why they chose this is because of legal loophole. The legal loophole is the fact that even though it's a an American base, as it's not legally on the American soil, the American legislation cannot be applied in Guantanamo Bay. Guantanamo Bay was just perfect because no legislation, the American legislation, but actually no legislation applied to that specific facility. So you can literally do anything and you cannot be held accountable from a legal perspective. Guantanamo'ya kuruluşundan sonraki bir yıl içinde 680 tutuklu getirildi ve bu sayı zamanla artarak 779'u buldu. Tutukluların büyük çoğunluğu hakkında herhangi bir suçlama veya adil yargılama olmadı. Torture took many forms in Guantanamo, whether it's physical torture, psychological torture, spiritual torture as well, because we know that the Quran was desecrated in Guantanamo in order to destroy the mindset of the detainees. So torture was the norm, what they called an enhanced form of techniques of interrogation were very unfortunately applied in there. This government does not torture people. You know, we, 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 we stick to U.S. law and our international obligations. You've said in the past that waterboarding, in your opinion, is torture. And torture is a violation of international law and the Geneva Conventions. Do you believe that the previous administration sanctioned torture? What I've said, and I will repeat, is that uh, waterboarding violates our ideals and our values. I do believe that it is torture. Çok sayıda insan hakları örgütü ve uluslararası kuruluş kampın kapatılması için yıllardır kampanya yürütüyor. And we are demanding that prison, that torture camp set up by the United States be closed immediately. Obama 2009'da hapishanenin kapatılması için bir başkanlık kararnamesi imzaladı. Ancak bunu hayata geçirmek pek mümkün olmadı. The Obama administration, Obama expressed clear willingness to definitively closure close the, the facility, but in the end he just didn't do it. And the administration that followed the Obama one was Trump, and Trump actually had a very uh, harsh stance on on the facility, uh, mentioning that he wouldn't close it. We are keeping open, which we are keeping open. And we're going to load it up with some bad dudes, believe me, we're going to load it up. I would bring back waterboarding, and I'd bring back a hell of a lot worse than waterboarding. I think it's the most clear symbol of the Islamophobic injustices that we've been suffering from in the last two decades. Quite interestingly, the, so that the spirit that led to Guantanamo being both Islamophobia and the dehumanization of Muslims uh, is a spirit that is now completely adopted across the West. Guantanamo was maybe one of the most extreme expressions of Islamophobia. Bugün Guantanamo'da 30 tutuklu bulunuyor ve bunlardan 3'ü ömür boyu hapis cezasına çarptırılmış durumda. ABD Başkanı Joe Biden 2020'deki başkanlık kampanyası sırasında kampı kapatma sözü verse de şu 
ana kadar henüz bununla ilgili bir girişimde bulunmadı. The political context explains the reason why it's difficult to envision a definitive closure in the near future because the spirit that led to its opening, meaning Islamophobia, widespread Islamophobia, the idea that Muslims are inherently a threat to national security and public order and, and so on and so forth is obviously still in there. As long as that spirit is not politically defeated, then of course the expressions of that spirit are going to remain in place, unfortunately, whether it's Guantanamo or uh, the Islamophobic legislations uh, and policies adopted across the West and, and, and the globe.